Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Reborn. Last episode, we discovered Team Meteor are the ones behind the pollution of the lake and me and Maria tried to uh, solve the problem, but the lake still polluted so she gave us her boat. And I'm not sure what her boat is. I'm assuming it's going to be one of these uh, things right here. It's locked, can't get in that one. So it's got to be this one up here. There you go. Unlock the door, we go inside. Her cool boat. Nothing in the trash, maybe? Nothing in the trash, okay. To Azarine Lake, the boat is idling on the uh, tainted water. It seems to be ready to go. Ooh. This boat actually looks pretty cool. Hello, my good man. Grammar today, grammar tomorrow. And blind me if there isn't grammar again the next day. All right, let's go, dude. Something happens, something flash when I walk past that bit of sand, so be careful I didn't like sunlight is strong. Ooh. Maybe a good idea to lead off with Charizard around here. I was gonna blink. So we can just uh, psychic the uh, the grimer. Uh, let's take you out first. Do a little bit of damage and we missed! Fantastic! Off to a great start. And with focus, ooh. Nice. So uh, the sun helps our psychic attacks. That's great. Maybe we'll lead off with Blink for a bit. That seems like a great idea. Maybe I was imagining it flashing. Why are you just walking to uh, this boulder? Hey, yeah. Okay, you want to battle? You seem like you might be a fighting type, so that's great for us. One down. And a choke. Oh, it's so dead. Blink's gonna sweep everything around here with Psychic. Oh, this is gonna be great. You wanna battle as well? Puffer Beach is known for its dark sand, dying in hue by the wind and ash from Pyrus Mountain. Ooh, thanks for the little uh, bit of knowledge there. Nature girl mini. Uh, so it's psychic. That's what we can really go for. With all these fighting types. Meditate. Hey. Get level 41 now. Oh, you literally trying to fake out first. I mean, great. 41. Battles on the black beaches. How romantic. So, I don't know where I'm going. I assume I want to get into that little academy place there and explore it. Uh, let's see. There's a gym here. Oh, this is a gym? Should we get the gym badge first, maybe? Uh, we are happy to accept new students and visitors alike. I guess we'll get our gym badge. Hey! This is great! Well, I was not expecting to see a gym here. Howdy, Traveller. Need any supplies? Ooh, what have you got for me, my friend? Uh, I'm gonna say let's get a few repels. I, need, I, do, I have needed repels for quite some time now. Let's get ten. I get a few supers. Let's get ten again. Don't wanna waste all my money just yet, anyway. Uh, should we just go in? I have no idea what I'm doing, but... Don't talk to me then. Man, I'm like a good spa. Maybe she's the gym leader, we gotta fight everyone around here, so all I can think of. Chimchai. If this is the field effect, and if she's a fighting type gym leader, this is gonna be the easiest gym battle ever. I say that, but usually there's always a catch. There's always a catch in this game with the field effects. Wanna battle as well? Nope. Just gonna fight everyone around here, then maybe we can take that girl on after. So in the comments did say a couple episodes back, like I can't wait for you to fight the fighting gym leader. Which makes me think, if you can't wait for me to fight it, maybe it's gonna be a bit more difficult than I think. But to be fair, the last gym leaders have been pretty easy. The shade. Super easy to beat. Right, beat this person, I'm gonna speak to that girl again. So I know we actually have to head to uh, Azarine Lake to find uh, Kane, but 
why not take on the gym on the way, I guess, you know? Well, that's lovely XP. You want to talk to me now? No, still nothing. Oh, there's more rooms in here. So nice to be away from the city and just relax. Okay. Oh, these are all like little dorms here. Oh, hello there. I'm a special trainer who have a unique psychic power. People call me the Sage as I have the ability to uh, discern a Pokemon's hidden potential. Oh. Okay. Don't really need hidden power, do we? But if you need to know, come to this guy here. I came here because training under a master sounded exciting, but there's nothing to do here. I mean, I thought for sure we'd get TVs in our rooms at least. What kind of place is this? Actually, now that I think about it, isn't there one somewhere around here? Hey you, please just stand in there and listen to me. Wine, if you see a TV nearby, come bring it to me. Okay, I will try and find you a TV. I've been in this one, haven't I? No matter what, I can never seem to pack lightly. Let's see. Two pairs of socks, two jackets, two bags of food, a poncho, stove, ten sleeping bag and blankets. Three sweaters, two pairs of pants, sandals and hiking boots. Grandma's good luck charm. <laughs> Grandpappy's good luck charm, Uncle Steve's good luck charm, camera land and <laughs> Auntie Margaret's necklace, which ain't good luck charm, but I don't got one from her, so we're gonna say it is. <laughs> My journal, the last four issues of Dragon Team and Monthly, compass, written, uh, writing utensils, traveling knives, and three changes of undies. Not all about to do it for an overnight trip, don't you think? Oh. Overnight trip, I think it's a bit too much, my friend. A bit too much. Uh, I think I pushed myself too hard, bro. Yo, dude. You don't got any uh, protein, do you? I think it... Do I? No, no, I don't. It's a different game, I have some. Black Belt, eh? Hey. Just guess we go in here. Oh, this is the gym. Oh, you're coming in from Apothel Academy? Kiki's school is going strong. And it's established so much technique and positive energy around there that her meditation ability is out of this world. When she uses to meditate, her Pokemon will be much, much stronger than normal. So don't give her that chance. By the way, beating the fighting type, although many people go for flying types, that could be a risky play. With all the sand and ash down there, it's easy for her to get kicked up and vision to be lost. The Kiki's uh, mentally focused Pokemon will often still land attacks. Rather than flying types, try using the mental energy against her. Psychic types can really do a number down there. Oh, one more thing. Said this once before, but Kiki's gym badge also won't raise the level gap. So, try not to train too much while you're out there. Good luck. Oh man, I was hoping it would. Uh, right. Well, she went down to teach a class on the training grounds. Okay, they're basically right out the front door. Can't miss them. So this has got to be Kiki, right? I don't... Round one. Oh, okay. I, I have no idea what's going on, to be honest. Uh, let's go for a nice fake out. Critical hit. Let's go. Psychic is going to be such a good thing right here. It's going to come so clutch. Bullet punch. Go for it. Okay, now what? Must remember to learn from defeat is greater uh, victory than any outcome. Now what? Were you always there? Maybe I gotta. Uh, maybe I gotta do this. I go up here. Wait, let's go talk to these people because they might want to battle. I feel like. Oh, there's so many people around here. Okay, did not want to do that, but... Just trying to find out who to battle next. I want Kiki to come up with her meditation state so I can battle her. Nope, that's not it. There's another girl on the other side, so maybe we can fight her. down there. How do I... Oh, okay. Ooh, is this... Huh? Uh, I'm not sure if any book uh, can be interesting as the TV these days. Can I take this TV? Still TV. Oh, nope. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's a community TV. You can't just take it. I won't let you. Oh, you're gonna let me, lady. You are going to let me, because I need to steal this TV for that girl. 
Fish. Uh, you got a lot, a lot of uh, water type Pokemon, so electric should be good around here. So keep discharging. All good. Can't stop, won't stop, you know. And the camera up. Okay, that's that stopped the party. That has stopped the party. Uh, magnitude seven. Seven yard. You are gone. Now give me the TV. My TV now. No, what will I do now if you take the TV? Work? Why do you do this to me? Huh? Another girl asked you to get it for her dorm? That girl almost sounds like my roommate. I mean, that TV would be going to my dorm as well. I never saw you. We never battled. You were never here. Take the TV and go quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, the gym leader's now... Wait, no, that's not the gym. This is the start, isn't it? Yeah. And TV was in this one. Nope. Who wants the TV? Is it you? You actually did it. And she bought me a TV. You just picked up the whole TV and just carried it down here? Who does that? I don't know, but you rock. Quick, sit down over there. We'll pretend it was here the whole time. I don't think you would actually do it. This is so cool. I don't get in trouble. I'll just blame you if I do, okay? In return, you can have this. It's for Obsidia's department store, but I never go there anymore anyway. Huh? Don't have a membership card? Lame. Go get one and come back here so I can give you a sticker. Where do we get a membership card? Oh, man. Okay. So, still need to find out how to get into this gym. So, back down here, into here, don't want to talk to you, you know, all this like, useless information which is probably very useful for the gym puzzle, and I will, uh, ooh, okay, got a free metatite, thanks I guess. Then, where do I, what do I do? Okay, so I just looked, and we don't actually take on the gym just yet. We have to, uh, go down to the mountain. So before we do that, let's put your heal up. Go to the volcano area and just go around there. Uh, oh, wow, what is... Is that supposed to be Kiki, I guess, then, doing the uh, little training session? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. See, I thought should be in the, uh, the academy. I see. Welcome. Please have a seat. Now, for today's lecture, we will review the basics of changing perspective. In our lives, we often face with troubling circumstances, which we feel we can do nothing about. However, by changing our perspective on these things, we can change the effective reality of the thing in itself. Let, let us use a physical example to demonstrate. Consider the Pokémon Marwile. When seen from the front of its combat stance, some would argue that its horn appears uh, grotesque, yet when viewed facing it, we can see a very different kind of Pokemon, with what many would call a very sweet and cute appearance. In this case, our tangible uh, perception influences our apparent reality, and further understanding each perspective of Marwile contributes to a much greater understanding of the Pokemon than many have when uh, first seeing it. Now, let us apply this to our day-to-day -day lives. Suppose you are, for instance, confronted by a man who rather aggressively petitions you for money. He smells unpleasant, and perhaps he makes some offhand remark about your appearance. To many of us, this man represents a problem. He may be judged as offensive or disgusting. At the least, he could be considered an annoyance. Let us attempt to shift our perspective of this man. The proud father loses his job after his cooperation closes. He applies at several other places, but unfortunately nothing pans out. Most positions get filled by other employees from his former company. He depends on his few friends for a time, but they soon distance themselves from him afraid that he has taken advantage of their kindness. Now alone as he is poor, he finds his confidence in his ability to provide for his daughter shattered. He applies for entry level positions, desperate to take anything, but even those employees are quick to dismiss him, thinking him overqualified and undergroomed. He has several leads to get his life back together, but he needs time to hear back from them. Meanwhile his daughter has grown hungry. She already only eats one meal a day. Time to do what he must in order to provide for her, he begins approaching random strangers. 
More often than not, they look down on him. Occasionally, Pity pays for his child's dinner. And at night, he returns to a home he knows he won't have for much longer. Having successfully changed a half-empty cup of spare change into a meal, his daughter smiles. Gracious for the food and not quite understanding that hers was not the standard for living. She eats her second peanut butter sandwich of the night. He throws himself solely on her gratitude. Of course, these two descriptions are of the same person, but two very different sides of him. Can you, as a passerby, again look at the man, demand just a few bills from you? In the same way, having seen another side of his story, can you still see him as a simple annoyance? Perhaps a city that is sick with homelessness and unemployment is just a city that is bursting with a desire to live. Uh, that will be all for today. Thank you. Okay. Hello again. Please allow me uh, now to formally welcome you as a student of Apothel Academy. We are honoured to have earned your faith and I look forward to observing your uh, diligence and growth in the coming weeks. I'll we'll assign you to a dormitory and schedule as soon as we return to the Academy. You came seeking the machine for strength? It is in my possession. However, it is only typically awarded to graduating students of the Academy. Everything in due time. For now, please meet me in my room at the Academy, and we will officially enroll you. Alright. Oh, want a battle? Okay. Uh, got to enroll in this Academy, eh? Well. This should be fun. Ouch, ouch. And goodbye, Nose Pass. Just gotta make sure we don't over level too much. A lot of Pokemon won't obey us anymore. Psychic. Goodbye, Combuskin. Hit him on top. Yeah, we can stay in. Get 43, and then. Role play. Uh, nope. Okay, I'll stop using Blink now because. If we fight her, and we're 43, yeah, yeah if we stop, keep using him like a level like 44, 45, and we don't want to be above 45 battling her, so I'm going to go with Charizard. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go with Garbo and get you level 40, don't we? Still a teeny bit underleveled. Can't be having that. Oh, Fortsy. I finally caught up to you. Victoria, is that you? I thought you left for training. Yes, I was going to, but so many other important things have been happening. We have to speak to Kiki at once. Is she in her room? I think I just saw her come in. Okay, good. I'm going ahead. Are you Victoria's friend? You're very lucky. She's a top student here at Poffle. Everyone loves her, and Kiki even took her as a personal apprentice. Ooh. That's cool. Alright, nice and healthy. Let's go and talk to Kiki. I see. So you need the machine to save the kidnapped children? Incidentally, this new student also came to me asking for that. Is that his coincidence? No, not at all. This is Voltsy, a very good friend of mine. We're working to save them together. Right. Truly, I am moved by your plight. However, as you well know, Victoria, I can only award that machine to a graduating student for our academy. One must attain inner strength before acquiring uh, worldly strength. In this regard, that procedure is to disrespect every student who has followed it before. And Sensei? I wish to apply for graduation. So you will. I suspected you might finally ask. This may be best, given my worsening condition. Sensei. But never mind that. We mustn't let inner turmoil uh, complicate outside affairs. Victoria? Were you successful in your challenge of the Reborn League, as I had asked of you? I admit, Sensei, I was not. So much was going on that I had other priorities. I see. It is unfortunate, being that the machine requires a certain badge. How about yourself, Oldsy? Oldsy can do it. He has lots of badges already. One more won't be a problem. So you intend to pass off the machine to an outsider regardless? I suppose it cannot be helped. But knowing that that is your intention, I must test Voltsy as well. Victoria, you will stay here and test for graduation. Voltsy, your challenge lies elsewhere. As you should know, Apophil lies in the shadow of one Pyrus mountain. Volcanic mountain, after all. Is the ash there form that grants the beach its grey uh, colour. Top Pyrus mountain is one of my newest and though at finest students. That's, oh goodness. Have faith in your companion, Victoria. Climb the mountain, find my student, challenge him. If you are successful, you may have the machine. Good luck. Okay. 
But what about your badge? I want your gym badge. So I've got to take one of your students. This is going to be fun. Foltzy. Sorry, I just wanted to wish you good luck. The student Kiki is talking about, his name is Cal. He was actually once the fire type leader of the Reborn League. But he retired and came here after something bad happened. Anyway, he's really strong. And sort of cute. I mean, do not just say that. Oh yes. In order to get very far into Pyrus Mountain, you may have to drain the lava from the upper floors. If you look, there should be choke points in between the levels. And sometimes they get clogged up. Just give the right one a good smash to clear it up, and you're good to go. Say hi to Cal for me, please. And don't worry about my test. I am the top student of Apophil Academy for a reason. Okay, so how do we get into this mountain? Not from this side, apparently. Uh, let's see, maybe just go left from here. I'm assuming it's going to be around here somewhere. I think this leads to the TM we saw on the other side. You need rock climb to get that, damn it. Oh, there's the mountain. Hey. Let's start making our way through, shall we? Uh, okay, so let's just rock smash. Oh. You wanna go? Go to super heat. I feel like I should lead off of like Charizard or something. Uh, I want to get the XP to level 40 before we beat you. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Not do that. I say I switch to Don Fan just go magnitude. I'm just gonna have to do it. Right, let's lead off with Don Fan because Don Fan can uh, do some damage around here. Turn super speed off and then. Where's my repels at? Pop a repel, get through here. So that unblocks that. I feel like we need to unblock that giant bit there, but I don't know. You say climb it, not descend it, so... <laughs> oh, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay. Don't want to smash that just yet. Maybe I do, I don't know. Don't have strength, so I'm not going that way. Ooh, he more just chilling. What up, dude? Oh, you got Pokemon that attacked us, okay. Try and capture this, I guess. Level 40. Ooh. Let's go for a slam. Another slam. Bag. Look, we'll go. Oh, it's level 40, it's so hard to capture a Pokeball. Oh, I didn't make a slam up. I thought it was going to reset to the Pokeball so I can keep spamming it, but nope. That's eh, fine. I don't really want to heat more, to be honest. Got a Firestone E. We can get Arcanine if we, um, if we want. We've got the Growlithe in the box. But train that Growlithe's going to be a pain in the butt, I tell you. So we can't go that way because we don't have strength. So maybe we will hit this thing here, see what happens. Now that's got lava on it. So we're not going that way. Uh, we can go this way though. Hey. Okay, it seems to be doing alright. Oh, keep going up. Now we're stuck, we need to lower that lava, it looks like. Right, 
you're gone. That's pro gone. Could we go back up this way? Did it go down? I can't even get out that way. So if we go this way. And then we're back here again. Ah, oh, I'm gonna go heal up anyway because we need to. I'll see you guys back here in a second. Alright, we're back here. So I'm thinking if we smash all this. Fight these. Just taking a lot of magnitudes. Probably the wrong thing to do, but we'll see. At least we can one-shot these. There's like puzzle with something like trial and error. Let's see if we get it done. We go, yeah, we still go this way. Go up. up. Again, and then still can't go that way. This is the way we want to go. So let's uh, break all of these. I'll fight one of these every single time, that's going to be fun. Background, maybe. No, now we can't do that. I'll drop us down here. Well, that was blocked off. So this. Oh, this puzzle's gonna be super fun. Back through this way. Jump down here. Oh, gonna find a field effect 16. Cool, read that in a little bit. Right now, main concern is trying to get through this silly puzzle. We just have to heat more. Got heat more on the firestone. That's blocked off, so we can't go that way. I feel like this place here is kind of irrelevant, maybe. So we need to just do one of them. Let's go for two. Let's go for two of them. Like so, be these two. Oh no. Just reset, I think I did something bad. That was wrong. I just wish I can stop getting XP right now because that would uh, that'd be great. Right, that's two. So can we go. No, because that's like that. So we've got to go down here, down here. No, it's not that one, it's this one over here. This one drains up above us. That was our last repel. Great. No, it doesn't. How do we do this puzzle then? Okay, so this is now open, so can we go through here? I don't know what I did, but we can go higher this time. 
Oh, we did it. Hey. Complete fluke right there. Just messing around and then bam. Done it. Oh, get healed up right here. That's nice. I'm going to quickly save it. Because I think this battle is going to be pretty tough. There you go. Nice and healthy. Yo, what up? Hi. Can I help you? Kiki sent you here too, huh? To battle me? Haven't had a serious battle since I resigned as gym leader. And even then, I was misguided. I had let anger drive and control me. That's why I came here. To learn to let go of the rage I felt towards my brother. Everything I've ever done was just to try and prove myself better than him. You're challenging the Reborn League now, correct? Have you ever met a gym leader named Shelly? So you have. How is she? Timid, right? That might have been my fault. Use to keep her around. Watch over her. She and I connected on some level. We were both always uh, scorned by our brothers and our families. Blake, he always got the attention. He got all the praise for everything. And anything I ever did was just a sloppy second. Back then I was too full of rage to see that he was the source of my anger. But Shelly understood. What she didn't understand was that my anger wasn't directed like hers towards trying to earn his love. She said something backwards and sent me off. I reacted terribly and... I regret her no more than anything else. And yet, because of it, I was finally able to change. Look at me, just rambling on. Sorry. I suppose I, uh, being assigned to meditate alone for days on end has that effect on people. I can see clearly now, but the uh, source of my energy is exhausted. Formerly rage, and now... What do I... what do I have? Perhaps I'll stop talking and find out in a battle with you. Alright, let's roll. This cow guy looks pretty cool. Excellent cow. Infernate. Well, luckily the Don has learnt Earthquake, so this gonna be good. Swords dance, go for it. Yay! The Don's awesome. Got six Pokemon. Wow. Really wish I got a uh, a gym badge for this because it's gonna be a tough battle. Oh, Solar Moon comes straight away because the sun. That's annoying. But we can still one shot you with a nice earthquake. Magmortar. Uh, I reckon we ask you Magmortar. Or not. That's fine. It's all good. We still got this. Oh. Okay, feel combusted, that's not good for us. I'm gonna go into Garbo. Gonna set up some toxic spikes. No, I'm not. Great, okay. Uh, Jason, you got this, buddy? I feel like thunder waving it. Slow it down a little bit. That blaze is so strong though, wow. And it was burnt. Cool. This is not going great. I can see where you get healed up after this oh, before this battle. Right, let's fake you out. Got burnt. Sweet. Just saw that coming. Burnt by the field and burnt by the burn. I want to go for Psychic, but I'm going for Light Screen. I feel like we're going to need it. Ouch. Okay, I get one Psychic off. Let's do damage to this thing. One Psychic, come on. Critical hit. It was not bad. I mean, it's, it's alright, I guess. Oh man, this battle's going bad. That was going so bad. I feel like Dragon Rage should finish you off. Or not, we got paralyzed, it's all good. One more Dragon Rage. Ultra Potion, great. So happy you use that.
Yeah, stay paralyzed. Stay paralyzed. All good. Light screen faded. Great. Yeah, Thunderbolt. Oh, man. Of course you do. Oh, are you serious, dude? I'm going to lose a battle now. Can't, can't win this unless uh, Kapora can pull out the bag. Nope. Oh, wait, live that. How much is it? I think I have to redo this on I can't win that. Damn. Yeah, you go for that close combat, it's all good. Set up that toxic spikes. Ultra pushing it. Waste all your ultra pushing now, that'd be great for us. Yes, keep wasting them. Keep wasting my friend. It makes life so much easier for me. Okay, one down. Five more to go. Right, now that's happened. Got the toxic spikes down. I want to set up a light screen quick. Charizard, cool. Although, we take you out. That was a critical hit. Oh, that's good. This, this battle's going so much better now. Del Fox, Del Fox, Del Fox, Del Fox. Let's stay in. Get poisoned. Get my light screen. Okay, it's all good. It's all good though. Shadow Ball. Woohoo! This part's going so much better. Yeah, leading off with uh, Don Fan was not the best idea last time, apparently. Like Mortar. Now, this is where I'm getting kind of worried. But now we have full health. Get poisoned. Lava Plume. It's all cool. The Earthquake's going to finish you off. Two Pokemon left. Typhlosion, which we beat once before, we can do it again. Go for a nice Confuse Ray. Let's go for a Discharge. Oh, it hurt itself. Why don't you get a Solar Beam? Because the Blaze softens the attack, so... Yeah. It's all good, poison should finish you off, if not, fake out can. Fake out. The last Pokemon is is what? Uh Blazerkin. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's use this time to heal up. Don fan a little bit. So we can go for an earthquake at least. Don't even need to though, because we just go Charizard, uh, Wing Attack, or Kapora Air Slash. Plenty of options here. Critical hit! Oh, that's just kind of scary. And one more Wing Attack, but the speed boost makes it a bit harder. So, it's all fine though. We have this in the bag. We really do. Slash. Or not, but. Poison finishes her off. So it's all good. Yay! I seem to have lost my fire after all. Perhaps it's for the best. I only ever started training fire types to beat my brother's ice. How stupid of me. In any case, you can go and tell Kiki that you defeated me. I'll be staying up here. I've got things to finish. Uh, meditation, that is. Alright. Well, I'm going to this part right here. In the next episode, we're going to head back to the Academy and then go and tell Kiki we won. Hopefully take on Kiki, get our fifth gym badge. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.